What's up guys? So we are going to go book shopping, but I need to do my makeup. I'm kind of on a timetable because I have therapy at 12 and it's almost 9.30. So I want to give myself like enough time to, you know, look and not have to like rush back. I figured I would do my makeup while I talk to you. So why am I going to the bookstore? Honestly, because I feel like it. There's really nothing that like I have my eye on, but you know, it relaxes me and it relaxes me. Like what, what else can I say? Um, so we are gonna go to Barnes and Noble. Um, we're gonna go to the Barnes and Noble that used to be a movie theater. And then we are gonna go to Mysterious Galaxy which is a independent bookstore in San Diego that I really, really, really like. So those are like the two that I wanna go to. I am looking for, I guess, two books, which would be Love and Other Words and then the sequel for Dial A for Aunties and maybe like a thriller, mystery, something like that. Cause that's kind of like what I'm in the mood to read because I have finished jade legacy and i am absolutely like emotionally destroyed so that's fun so um what better way to get over heartbreak from a book than to go to the store and bookshop so that is my plan also if i'm completely honest which i guess i should be right I'll be honest with you guys. I have no idea what to film. And I kind of wanted to go to the bookstore yesterday, but my husband's motorcycle was in the shop. So I couldn't go because I didn't have a car. Um, but he has his motorcycle back and I was just like, okay, well, yesterday I wanted to go to the bookstore. So I might as well, you know, film since I don't really have any pressing ideas for me to film. So that is the plan. I thought I had more to say, honestly, but I guess I don't. I'm kind of like stressed with having to pack. We got the storage unit yesterday. So it's like, it's happening. So that like makes me nervous and excited because I've been waiting for a really long time for us to get out of here. So I'm excited for that, but in the same breath, it's like, it's gonna be a unknown new experience that makes me nervous. Honestly, I don't feel like putting on mascara, so I'm not. I am going to put my shoes on. I'm going to put a jacket on and um, we are gonna go to Barnes and Noble. I am in the car waiting for them to open. They open in a minute, um, but there's people waiting outside. So I'm gonna wait in the car until I see them go in and then I'll go in. So, basically, um, I forgot that I was recording. Um, I thought I hit the end button, but I didn't. Anyways, I found the sequels to A Magic Steeped in Poison and All of Us Villains. And over here is supposed to be the new releases books, but they haven't really updated them. Um, also, I'm sorry that I'm mostly showing the floor. It was really hard to record and hold all the books in my hands. Um, but over here is the book talk table. Which, I don't know, I think it's pretty funny that book talk has become this huge thing that now bookstores are having book talk tables. I think that's really interesting. And then right next to the book top table is the fiction books. So I've been really intrigued by fiction books, which is typically like, I don't really, you know, read fiction. So I've, I've collected a couple fiction books that I'm going to read soon. Then over here we have mystery and thrillers. I'm definitely in my mystery thriller era. Although I don't know too many like good authors other than like the main ones that I read. So if you guys have any like thriller author recommendations, um, please let me know. Now we have romance. So I was looking for love and other words and I could not find it. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got the new release. Super excited. I didn't think that they were going to have it. And then I got the sequel to Dial A for Aunties. And also they had the sequel to, what is it called? All of Us Villains. So, um... I didn't expect to find them there. Sometimes Barnes and Nobles, they'll put um, new releases in early. So very excited for that. So, ooh, I'm gonna go to the next bookstore and I will see you when I get home. I am back. I have some goodies from my adventures. I got home and Otis was bad, so that was great. But I showed you guys in the car. This is the second book to All of Us Villains. This just came out. I am really excited to see what's gonna happen. So got my hands on this one. And then I also, I got such a pretty smile. This is actually signed. My bookstore is the best. So I got that signed. I've been eyeing this for a while, so I figured they had the signed copy, so I was like, might as well. And then I got The Art of Prophecy. I am super, super excited for this one. Super excited, also signed, so that makes me happy, but I am thrilled. There's a map in here too. So this one is about a prophesized hero must work with a band of unlikely allies to save their kingdom. So yeah, super excited that I have this. And then I got a Venom Dark and Sweet. This is the sequel to A Magic Steeped in Poison, which I really, really like that book. Um, beautiful cover. This one is no different. Beautiful cover as well. Hopefully Moose doesn't bite this one, but also new release. I got Four Aunties and a Wedding. So this is the sequel to Dial A for Aunties, which I recently read and really, really loved. I read Dial A for Aunties in the 24 hour reading vlog that I did. I posted that on Wednesday, so if you have not seen it, definitely check it out, it's a fun time. And then I got Finley Donovan is Killing It. This is a very tiny book, it's very tiny. It's like in between regular book and mass market paperback. It is such a weird size, but I got it, they didn't have the hardcover, so I got the paperback. So that is my haul today. Didn't do too bad. I'm really excited to get into this. And I was looking for uh, Love and Other Words, but Barnes & Noble didn't have it, and my independent bookstore didn't have it, so I don't know. 
Um, maybe Amazon, I'll get it off Amazon. But anyways, that is what I did today. Um, thanks for tagging along. If uh, any of these books interest you or if you're planning on reading them, please let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you.